right, guys. Uh, we're gonna do a review for the Yeti Hopper 30. I know they've been talking about how it uh, holds ice for days. What does that mean? What does ice for days mean? I'm gonna put a couple couple brews in there, and I'm gonna put a bag of ice, and I'm gonna leave it outside. We are in uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, it's about 95 degrees during the day, and the overnight temperatures are about 70. They recommend starting off with the cooler cool, meaning store it inside, because if the cooler is warm, you store it in the shed or whatever, it takes time for it to cool down, it takes away from the ice. Also, it says start with the beverages cool. Well, the cooler was inside, so it's cool, and the beverages are cold because they were in the fridge, so let's go. Get I did notice that the inside of the cooler smells a little fishy, kinda. Maybe it's just me, but anyway. First time using it. Right over there. Let's see, it's got the ice on the inside, nice and cool. But make sure we. Alright, so, put the brews in there, and we got the ice, so now we just close it, get this out of the way, alright, and, we'll just leave it, we'll leave it right there. What time is it? It's about 3 o'clock, uh, on a Wednesday, so, uh, we'll check it tomorrow, and we'll check it the next day, or however long it lasts, check in with you guys then. Okay guys, uh, I'm checking in for the day two of the Yeti Hopper 30 cooler test. I'm not gonna bore you to death with uh, showing me. I know you wanna see the ice, so now it's been 24 hours. Um, let's see what we have. It is sunny today, and uh, I'd say it's about 85. It was in the sun early this morning, and now it is in the shade. So it's kinda normal conditions, but um, haven't opened it. Let's uh, let's let's see what, let's see what we got. Uh, looks like we still have some ice. Still, it's a little watery. Ooh, it's cold. Wow. But uh, still a considerable amount of ice. All right, we'll lock it back up and. Let it sit there, and uh, we'll check it. I guess we'll check it in uh, another 24 hours, so we'll see you tomorrow if there's still ice. All right, guys. Um, I know it's dark. I got home late. It's not the same time as I would have liked to check the Yeti cooler, but let's do the final check. I felt it. feels like water. Not really ice, but let's see if we made it over two days. So, it's really not that dark out. I don't know why the camera's so dark. Okay, so let's test her out. Let's see what we got here. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Okay, what do we got here? And we're water. But, see in there, there are still, nope, no ice left, but, it is definitely still cold. It's definitely still cold. We are a little bit over uh, 48 hours, and um, it's still cold. It's not a. Uh, it's not 100 degrees outside. I think it's still a great cooler. I think ice for days implies that maybe two days. If you were camping and you kept in a shade, I think you'd get the two full days out of it. But I think if you were fishing and um, on a boat all day in the heat you you get a full day but I don't think you get two full days you definitely would get a full day um, I also want to point out that I had a small bag of ice in there I could have I didn't really have the two to one ratio I could have put two bags of ice in there or one big bag I wasn't even halfway full with ice so uh, that probably plays a factor into it but um, all in all I think it's uh, still a great cooler when I go on a fishing trip uh, maybe in Florida 
whenever I go, I'll make another video and I'll let you guys know um, my thoughts at that point. So, hope that helps you guys. See you next time.